Parts of the Sierra getting more than a foot of snow as the storm rolled through overnight. This is pretty. This is video from Palisades Tahoe where they got about 15 inches in just 24 hours. And here's the scene from the UC Berkeley Sierra Snow Lab where they are we're expecting about 15 inches by this afternoon. So let's check in with Paul. So Paul, is the Sierra still getting hit with snow right now? Because if it is, there's some poor guy on I-80 and flip-flops trying to put on chains right now. <laughs> and the reporter from KOVR in Sacramento standing next to him trying to interview yes, him simultaneously. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're still getting some snow showers. Winter weather advisory for the Sierra goes until 10 p.m. But if you're heading up that direction tomorrow, the road crews are going to have plenty of time to play catch up and get the roads cleared. Let's take a look at our perspective and what's been happening. Happening. We had that band of showers that worked its way through. Let's bring in the maps and show you what we expect to happen over the next few days. The rain chances are really going to be shutting down. This batch of showers that moved through is the last that we are going to see for the foreseeable future. Here's the radar replay from this afternoon and now into this evening. It was a quick but briefly intense round of rainfall that is now completely exiting the Bay Area. A couple of rogue sprinkles still possible as we head through the evening, but in general, clearing skies overhead without that blanket of cloud cover. Temperatures are going to be chilly tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine, though, so despite the chilly start, we'll warm up to near average tomorrow afternoon. Through the weekend, we can just zoom through the last couple days of Futurecast here because there's not going to be a whole lot happening. A few high clouds in the atmosphere overhead on Saturday, slightly thicker cloud cover on Sunday, but just passing clouds. No moisture falling out of those, and for the most part, all they're going to do is filter the sunshine as opposed to block it. So we should get back up to closer to what's average for this time of year in terms of solar electricity generation, especially tomorrow, making the most of our very limited daylight hours as we approach the winter solstice just two weeks away. Two weeks from today is the official first day of winter. A little bit on the breezy side tomorrow afternoon. The winds will not be a problem as you're heading out the door early in the morning. But as that cooler air is delivered to the Bay Area, it's going to be delivered by those winds from the north. Offshore breeze about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Nowhere close to strong enough for a wind advisory, but noticeable and enough to make it maybe feel a couple degrees cooler than the air temperature. Saturday and Sunday don't look like they're going to be as breezy. Looking outside right now from Salesforce Tower to the north, the last of today's daylight on the horizon. Still some clouds out there as well, so a mix of clouds and clear sky. Temperatures are in the 50s everywhere, anywhere from 52 degrees in Santa Rosa to 57 degrees in San Jose. A little more variability to our temperatures later on tonight. The coldest spots will be close to freezing into the mid-30s for much of the North Bay, though. Those valleys getting a bit chilly and same thing for parts of the Tri Valley 36 degrees in Pleasanton and Livermore temperatures around the Bay and into the Santa Clara Valley mostly in the low to mid 40s and then after that chilly start we are going to manage to warm up take a look at tomorrow's forecast highs which are going to reach up to well within a couple of degrees of 60 and 60 is pretty close to our normal high temperature for this time of year 62 degrees in San Jose will be one of the warmest spots on the map right along the coast half moon bay topping out at 57 degrees that'll be one of the coolest locations so not much of a difference only a five degree spread from the cool spot to the warm locations on the map by tomorrow afternoon just a nice end to the work week and these temperatures are going to be very similar Saturday and again on Sunday and then a little bit more of a warm up kicks in as we head farther down the line into early next week. So let's check out the seven day forecast. We'll start with inland parts of the Bay Area where temperatures are going to reach up into the mid 60s beginning on Monday, continuing Tuesday and then still at least a couple degrees above average Wednesday and Thursday. And you notice there is no rain in the seven day forecast. I, the one forecast model is hinting at a chance for a couple of showers Wednesday night into Thursday. That is an outside chance. All we're doing at this point is adding a little bit of cloud cover to Thursday's forecast. I think the better opportunity for a little bit of additional rainfall would be by the time next weekend rolls around. That's a long way down the line. So we'll keep you updated as we head through this dry stretch of mid-December weather. All right. Thanks, Paul.